welcome to the latest episode of vSphere Breakroom Chats. I'm your host, Glenn Simon, Product Marketing Manager for vSphere. In this series, we bring VMware experts to talk about vSphere and related technologies. In the, today's episode, we're going to talk more about the latest release of vSphere, Update 2, um, as well as a new cloud service for vSphere Plus, as well as how these enhancements are going to simplify your day-to-day -day job as a vSphere admin. Our expert today is Dave Marrera, Technical Marketing Architect for vSphere. Welcome, Dave. Hello, everyone. Uh, happy to be here. All right, so um, let's, uh, you know, when it comes to making the lives of vSphere admins easier, what are um, what are those big problems we're trying to solve with this latest release? That's a, a great question. And uh, I'm glad you uh, phrased it that way because we, when we build solutions, we have a problem in mind to fix, right, for our customers. And one of the main things is to make it easier for our customers to not only see their entire environment as a whole, but also to be able to update and maintain their vSphere infrastructure easily uh, from an on from a cloud console, which is centralized, to all those on-prem vCenter instances spread across their uh, infrastructure. Uh, but also, yeah. we're trying to make it easier to manage authentication. So we, we have security in mind. We know our customers are concerned about security when they think about cloud. And that is one of the top things that we introducing we have that in mind that uh, we want them to be safe we want them to feel safe as well but they're also bringing some of those services to on-prem and making it easier for them to manage their environment okay so those are the problems so let's talk a little more about the solutions what are we doing in update two um, and just kind of a, at a, maybe at a high level what are, what would you say are sort of the highlights of this release kind of a you know it's kind of a list. Yeah, there's a, definitely there's a list. So uh, highlight some, we keep working on making it easier for the customers to upgrade. So we started off with vCenter and now we're moving into the ESXi to the host. So now we can actually uh, do ESXi lifecycle management uh, for on-prem. We're also introducing reduced downtime upgrade, which I, I can dive a little bit deeper into that in a second. For on-prem environments, so we introduced this uh, with vSphere Plus only, but now we have this available on-prem. And uh, like I mentioned before, security. So being able to have federation for third-party products like Okta, um, Entra ID, which is Azure ID, et cetera. So uh, again, security in mind is, is top of mind for us. Okay. Well, let's uh, let's that first item is interesting because you were talking about ESXA lifecycle. Now, obviously, we've 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 had enhancements and features to help people manage their ESXI hosts, but what's different about this? Is this um, is this involved the cloud console or what's what's new? Yeah. About so this? definitely, this is a, a vSphere Plus only. So it is a centralized cloud console that all those V centers that are connected to the cloud receive these benefits. So these are extra benefits that those on-prem environments wouldn't have without vSphere Plus. And what we're doing is extending uh, to, so not just being able to upgrade V center instances from a centralized location. Now you can actually create deployments or um, rules to be able to upgrade ESXi hosts that live on-prem and they could be across different locations. So if you have, you know, 50 V centers connected and you have 500 hosts, then you can start upgrading them uh, as you wish, right? You can do one side at a time or you can do 10 at a time or five from each side at a time. And um, following that same image-based uh, lifecycle management that we introduce uh, on-prem. But the good cool thing about this is it's centralized. And it, it makes it a lot easier rather than going vCenter by vCenter in a, in a slow way. So definitely a lot faster, a lot less clicks for the customers. And I wish I had this when I was a customer myself. Wow. Yeah, because I guess today with traditional vCenter or vSphere, you you have to update um, like on a per cluster basis, right? You're saying mm -hmm. with this ESXi lifecycle service, you can actually do multiple clusters multiple vCenters at the same time mm -hmm. wow yeah we call it this the fleet y upgrade right? so <laughs> fleet it's like y, a okay. shotgun yes yeah, a shotgun approach where we can reach different locations at the same yeah time. now if you wanted to maybe stage it through different regions you could you could still do that right 
It's yes, not like you exactly. have to do 100% all at the same time. Um, wow, that's uh, so. Yeah, and you said that's limited to that's going to be for our vSphere Plus customers who have actually obviously have access to that cloud console, and then they'll be able to to use that to do to do their ESXi hosts updates yes, a lot. That, yeah, easier. that's correct. And that's one cool thing about vSphere Plus that once we have new features introduced, they'll get in automatically. There's no need to wait for upgrades and things like that. Uh, you log in one day and there it is, a new feature available. Now you mentioned reduced downtime upgrade, and I know mm -hmm. we've we've talked about that before as a feature of vSphere Plus. Now, are you? I think you're saying that now we're actually expanding that, uh, making it available to all of our traditional vSphere customers as well. That is correct. And uh, so when I talked about this with vSphere Plus, uh, it was only available through vSphere Plus. And every question, every time I spoke about this, customers would ask. When, when is this coming to on-prem only? And uh, so it's finally coming to on-prem because they see the value. And what we're doing here is, uh, like the name implies, significantly reducing the downtime of vCenters when we're doing upgrades. So we're doing migration-based upgrades, but the source vCenter still runs the services necessary to keep vCenter running. You can do all the configuration changes you need to do, uh, and then, the switch over takes about five, 10 minutes rather than hours. So ah, definitely a, a, a game changer for upgrades. Yeah, okay. So uh, maybe maybe from an admin perspective, maybe a lot of the steps they have go through are similar, but in terms of the actual impact to your environment, it's, it's just a, right. a few minutes, yeah. yeah. Awesome, okay. And then you mentioned from a security standpoint, um, support for some more identity providers. Yeah, yeah, so we're expanding our list of uh, identity providers, uh, third parties who have Azure or Intra ID, uh, which is the new name, uh, also Okta. So not only on-prem, but also to the cloud, to that cloud console, where you can do some federation um, and simplify your logins, but also keeping you secure. So uh, yeah, take that's logins, a new improvement coming in. Yeah, take logins and passwords out of vSphere so the security auditors don't care as much <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> about vSphere. <laughs> Uh, okay, well, um, is there anything before we wrap up here? That, that's a great, uh, a great list of stuff that's going to make admins' lives easier. Is there anything else that you think might be interesting to admins? Um, yeah, I'll mention a couple of things. The, there's something coming up. There, it's called cloud linked mode, which is a, a way where we can actually group vCenter instances that are connected to the cloud. So you can go to the cloud console create your vCenter groups, and you can actually share and, and create tags across all these different vCenter instances, which uh, becomes very, very useful if you're moving applications back and forth. Um, also, we have something coming up. Uh, it's called ESXi cluster config, which is based on the desire set configuration uh, service or feature that we introduce in vSphere Plus for vCenter instances. Uh, so definitely keep a, an eye out for these two new features coming up. And where uh, where do you think people can sort of keep track of that or find out more information about these these new enhancements? So a couple of places, uh, our tech zone, which is where we publish our uh, papers, blogs about the technical aspects of it, and we will leave uh, a link uh, here. And also we have that uh, vSphere YouTube channel where you can also see some videos of this uh, particular features coming up uh, within the few uh, next few weeks. Okay. Great, that sounds good. We'll we'll definitely include links uh, if you're not familiar with TechZone. It's it's where you can geek out, get all the uh, lower level, um, inter interesting information about pretty much anything about what's new with vSphere. So, we'll definitely include a link to that as well as you mentioned the YouTube channel uh, for all of you to 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 learn more about these uh, exciting new enhancements. Uh, and with that, we come to the end of this episode. Thank you, Dave, for joining us today. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. And if all of you like this episode, please join us next time for another episode of Breakroom Chats. This is your host, Glenn Simon, signing off for now. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.